Hello, Albert reporting for duty out here at MX Express in Swanton, Ohio. Um, we are on the kids track, which I have now converted to my turn track. So sorry kids, I'm putting ruts in your turn track. The outdoor track, where I'm at class right now, we're at lunch. We're gonna ride the outdoor track after, so we'll get some videos of this also. Shout out to Philip for letting me ride his Alta. So I'm gonna try to ride and talk at the same time. This video is going to consist of four drills that you can do to improve your cornering and just your overall riding. Four simple sets. This is about a 15 second corner track, if that, might even be less than that. You can utilize this in an oval track. You could utilize this in a figure eight or a circle track. And here we go. So set number one is gonna be stand up only. So. Stand up drill, we're really focusing on these feet, allowing that bike, and we're allowing that bike to lean underneath us if we need it, right? So you can see I have that wiggle room to let that bike lean under me. I'm dropping my heels so that those knees can stay back. My toes are in, so even as I get confident, when I get confident in that rut, I'm gonna start to drag my foot pegs a little bit, but as long as my feet, whoa, whoa, but as long as my feet are tight, it won't matter. I'm not using any rear brake. I'm just using a little bit of front when I need it. Reason I don't use rear is because I'm really just working on this footwork, trying to keep these feet tight. No need to confuse the bike with the rear brake and a drill like this. So that's the stand up. God, this bike is so fun. Okay, so next drill, that's stand up. Then you're gonna go into sitting down, feet on the pegs. So I'm gonna stay sitting the whole time this time. Feet are going to stay tight. Same thing, gonna focus on upper body stability in the corners, going to focus on footwork, keeping the legs tight. And I'll just reverse directions, because why not? So same thing here, whoa. And Philip's got some high bars, so it's making life a little bit weird for me. But focus here is keeping that inside elbow up, keeping the abs tight, so that I don't fall inside of the corner. Right, I'm very tight here in my abs. My feet are tight. Super fun, and when you get good at this too, I'm dragging my foot on the inside of that corner. Super fun to do that. A little intimidating. Like look at, see my boot? Look at my boot. As long as your feet are tight, that's a non-issue, but that's super fun to keep your feet tight, feel the rut dragging against the inside of your boot. I'm waiting just the outside peg in these corners, even though both feet are on, just waiting the outside peg. Whoa. See, that was a mistake, but my upper body didn't fall with the bike. So it really limits that mistake. Being nice and smooth with the throttle. God, this Alta is so much fun to do this with. Not leaning super far forward in the turn either. I only drive that head forward as I accelerate out of the turn, the head comes forward just a tad, right? That's what's cool. So these Altas will unlock a whole different level of, you could put this in the middle of the city almost if you wanted to. All right, set three now. This is my favorite, one hand. So the one hand is just simply going to, whoa, didn't mean to twist the throttle really there. The one hand is going to just bring out any mistakes that you make, any technical things that you do wrong. It will bring those to light, which is awesome. I like practicing the one-handed drill. We'll reverse direction again here. Um, do this as your third, do this as your third set. So I put the hand on my abs. I don't know if this way is gonna be more, yeah, this way is way more difficult. So putting my hand on my stomach here, this is going to reinforce just being squared up and I can feel my abs being tight. This isn't old school, so I'm not sitting super far forward on my gas cap, right? Cause this just wouldn't work. Sitting just, a little bit in front of that neutral part of the seat. I'm re-gripping on the throttle so that when I twist the throttle, I don't accidentally chicken wing it. So this elbow stays up. 
And again, my abs are very tight. So what you notice is that my head does not fall inside of the bike. As soon as my head were to fall inside of the bike, that's when mistakes would happen. The reason why somebody like Jet Lawrence and Hutter Lawrence are two great examples that I use all the time, the reason those guys are so good is because they are so darn stable with the upper bodies and it makes it so that they don't make mistakes in the turns. Or even if they dab their foot, they can get that foot back on and it doesn't affect their upper body. My vision is looking nice and far ahead. I'm spotting a point, looking past it. Spotting a point, looking past it. In these tighter 180s, you can see my head physically turn around. The bike will follow. Same thing here. Same thing here, turning that head, turning that head, looking where I want to go. OK, the fourth and final set after that is going to be normal. So what my normal looks like is still both feet on the pegs. I don't put my inside foot out for turns, or I at least try to not do it ever. So I practice with feet on the pegs all the time. The only thing that normal is going to be different is I'm going to stand and sit. And that's going to be a slightly different dynamic. So we can practice the transition from sitting to standing and standing to sitting in this normal drill. And I might up the intensity by a little bit. Um, I'll, uh, I'll do it both ways. So I'm gonna try to still not use any rear brake if I can avoid it. So through there, no point in standing, right? But right here, maybe we can practice a little bit of rear, a little bit of standing up. And you don't want to override. A corner track is not designed to work on speed. We just can up the intensity just, just the tiniest bit. Practicing that transition to standing, transition back to sitting down. Ooh, hit a little rock. I wonder what this track would be like in mode four. Probably fun. All right, now I'm going to reverse direction. All right, go this way, normal. So a little transition to standing, sitting. Not that I would even do that on a track, to be honest, because that's so tight. But it's just good to practice. Coming out of this turn, I'm going to just hit this sweeper standing up. Oh, this rut is so fun. Also, this bike is ridiculously fun. Woo! All right, so that's it. Those are your four sets to improve your overall riding and your cornering. Practice these anywhere. I mean, I don't know how long that lap time was, but it was darn short. You can place a track like this anywhere. Um, I tell you what, in the Alta is perfect for it. Oh, it's so perfect for it. I love this bike so much. Can't wait to get mine back. Um, all right, comment below if you guys have any questions. Comment below what you want to see in videos moving forward. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the MotoAcademy.com. Click the link below. It's $15 a month. We have over 60 tutorial videos on there the most in-depth masterclass that I've ever seen and I think has ever existed in the sport of motocross. So from first time riders, amateurs, advanced, pro, every single level we have videos built out for you guys. You can also send your riding videos to me directly through that app so that I can analyze your riding footage. Pretty amazing. Um, and it's only $15 a month. It's a lot of work for me, but I wanna be as involved with you guys as absolutely possible. So if you wanna support the channel and you wanna improve your riding, do that. That Black Rifle coffee got, got me fully torqued this morning, dude. I, uh, I did this in one take. I don't even think I have to edit or cut this. I didn't make one mistake, just one time. Boom. All right, thank you, Philip, for the bike. Thank you, MX Express here in Ohio. Fun day. I'm going to go finish class. Toodaloo.